Hello again YouTube. Um, I thought I'd do a video about uh, selling CDs again uh, because I'm just going through a load of CDs to make up some listings uh, and I thought I'd share with you what I'm doing and how I do it um, because you 2 just released their new album or well, they actually just gave it away on iTunes which I thought was bizarre um, but because you 2 in the news and you know, a lot of people will be listening to their music. I thought it was a perfect time to dig out all my U2 stuff and make up some listings of U2 albums. So if you've not seen my other video about selling CDs, what I tend to do is I pick up CDs for usually 50 pence at car boot sales and I stockpile them. So out the back in one of the far racks, uh, the one, two from the end, it's just full of CDs. There must be a couple of thousand CDs in there. And they're all alphabetically arranged. And then when I decide to sell a load, what I'll do, I'll, I'll go through and I'll pull out, for example, U2. So I, I've just been and picked out what U2 albums I had in stock. Because um, I think it's a good time to sell U2. So I then go through and work out what bundles I can make. So what I'm going to do is quickly look. So we've got all that you can't leave behind, a stack of those, two pop for example, only one Zeropa. So what I'm going to be able to do is uh, I can do one big bundle with a Joshua Tree, a Rattle and Hum, there, Joshua Treats, Fair Let Me Come, uh, Achtung Baby, that's my favourite album of all time by the way, it's a fantastic album. Um, and like I said, I've got one Zeropa, so that will go in, uh, a copy of Pop. Now I've got some best ofs, I won't put best ofs in this bundle. Um, well, all that you can't leave behind. Stick one of them in, how to dismantle an atomic bomb, and the the previous album to their new one which just came out, which is a good album as well, I like this, uh, No Line on the Horizon, so I chuck that in. So that's not including the different best ofs, that will be a bundle that I will now list. So it's, however many that is, eight, eight U2 albums. Now I haven't been on and checked prices or whatever but I'll probably do 20 to 25 pounds for that uh, and they they always sell there's always somebody who's out there looking for the convenience of buying I mean it's nowhere near all their albums but it's a big big chunk and you can buy them in one hit uh, they'll all be in excellent condition because I always check CDs when I buy them um, so yeah I don't know, I haven't looked them up, but I'm guessing sort of around the £20 mark for that easily. Possibly more. And then I go through again. So now I've got a Joshua Tree, a Rattle and Harm, um, yeah, another Afton Baby. I don't have any more Zeropa, so this bundle will be smaller again, but pop. All that you can't leave behind. Mount the Atomic Bomb and No Line. So that will be another bundle, slightly less, but still an easy sort of £15. So that's now two lots, and I can carry on. So now we're we're running low. So we've got left, we've got some All That You Can't Leave Behind and How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb, and then the best ofs. Um, so what I'm thinking here, that'll make a nice lot best of 80 to 90 and best of uh, 90 to 2000 with the b-size disc so I'll just do that as a pair uh, probably get a fiver for that and again 50p each or less quite often so that's good profit and then these all I can really do would be because I've got two of these which is another sort of best of you two 18 singles 
so I'll do I'll try maybe that as a bundle. Two albums and a not a very good bundle, but I do need to get shot of them. So what I'll do is one of them and then another exactly the same. So that will be new two and then what I've got left we'll just go back on the shelves and wait for another day. So that's one, two, three, four, five lots of U2 stuff. And then Coldplay are quite big again at the minute. So I have fished out what Coldplay I have in stock, which is all of that. So what I can do with these is one copy of Parachutes, one X and Y, uh, one Rush of Blood at the Head, one Viva La Vida, one Milo Zoloto, and a Coldplay Live. So that's the biggest lot I can do. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six Coldplay albums. So that, I don't know what I'll get for that. £15, I would imagine. Um, cost to me at 50 pence or less uh, it's about three pounds so that's one lot and then second lot we'll do another parachutes an x and y if they've got these stickers on just take them off for when you do the pictures it makes them look so much nicer viva la vida rush it blood and milo zoloto so that's another nice little lot of five and then we can do, I've got two copies of Viva La Vida left, so that I can do three lots of three. So that's one of these, one of these, one of these. And I can do that three times. Oh no, two times, because I had two, two Viva La Vidas. And then all I've got left is cold, um, Parachutes and X and Y. I don't know if it's worth doing pairs. I think I'll just leave those until I've got more of the the albums. I don't see as much. So put those back. So that's another one, two, three, four, four lots there to go. Uh, and yeah, that's that's how I work it. So I say beautiful self. I seem to have a, a load of bits kicking about. Can't really make much up with this. Um, I could do a set of four. That one is one. I think I showed it in another video recently. Um, you don't see that very often. That was a more recent album when they weren't selling in, in such big numbers. But you see, the reason I pulled these out is Jackie Abbott and uh, Paul Heaton, is it? Uh, who are ex Beautiful South have released a new album and they're, they're touring and they're all over the place so people will be looking for this stuff who are just getting into uh, their new stuff so I figured it was a good time so I'll do a lot of four of those um, and a lot of three so the best of a quench and a blue is the colour Um, and then I don't know if it's really worth doing pairs with these, but I could do so a nice little lot of that. I'll try it. I'll look them up, and that will clear those. Uh, and so on and so on. I've got another little load of manic street preachers here. So I pulled out. Sometimes when I'm buying, I'll find that somebody has been a fan of a certain artist or whatever, and they're clearing their collection. And sometimes you just buy lots ready-made. I, I picked this up recently. It's Tracy Chapman. And there's so many Tracy Chapman albums here. You don't realise she's done this many. And that is a, a wonderful little lot. So that's a ready-made lot. So these would have been picked up for... One, two, three, about three pound fifty, and I'll stick them on. And I don't know what I'll ask on those. But again, I'll look it up and sort of judge the going rate for this sort of thing. But I'd imagine fifteen pounds or so. And another one, uh, somebody was clearing a lot of Chris Isaac albums. 
so I, I've got all of these at 50p each and they're really nice and these will sell easily so there's a whole host of random different Chris Isaac albums so they'll go on as well so there you go um, that is pretty much all I do as far as sorting goes then what I will do is go through uh, take all the stickers off. If any cases are cracked or damaged, I will replace those um, and then lay them out and photograph them and stick them on. They're quick and easy to list and they sell really well. Um, I find it as a great way of selling albums and making good money on them. Because if I were to sell these individually, one at a time, A, it's tons and tons of work and tons and tons of time, and B, eBay is flooded in CDs, um, individual copies of all of these albums, and you will get very, very little money. Whereas selling in a bundle, it's, it's I tend to find you get more per CD, which is bizarre, um, but more importantly, they sell quicker, and it's a lot less work. So that's how I do it. Um, thanks for watching. If you've not watched me before, this is what I do to earn my living. I buy and sell stuff on eBay. And I'm here on YouTube just sharing with you guys what I do on a day-to-day -day basis in the hope that it uh, helps somebody out there and, and you enjoy watching what I get up to. So thanks for watching and bye for now.